What's going on, you wonderful people? Have you ever wanted to add a countdown timer to your live streams just before you go live in OBS or Streamlabs OBS? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's get to it. What's going on, you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Creighton TV. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add a countdown timer in Streamlabs OBS or OBS for free. Woo! Yes, again, I said it for free. So, what I'm going to show you is, I'm going to show you how to do it on Streamlabs OBS, but it's the same way as OBS. And this is how you're going to do it on the Mac in 2021. So, let's get to it. What you want to do is, you want to come over here to, when once you open Streamlabs OBS, you got scenes. You want to add a scene right here with the plus line. Add a scene. Make one that says, starting soon. After you do that, you come over here to sources. Right there, click on a plus. Now, if you have an animated background, you want to use the media source. If you have an animated background, you have an L, you know, your animated starting soon screen, but you don't have a countdown timer on it. Use the if it's animated, you know, use that one. If you just have a regular image, you want to come over here to image. Like me, I'm gonna show you what the image is, but same thing. So you'll know, hit add source. Um, start a new so you won't have that but you'll have uh, where it says add new source instead you click on add new name it whatever you want to for me I'm just leaving image one add source you want to come to browse file where you got the, your, your picture or your starting soon screen that you made and you want to add in put that in there me I'm just going to use my regular crate TV so if you haven't hit it already subscribe but I'm going to add that there I'm going to hit done I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna scroll down till I get to uh, transform and get to uh, fit the screen. Bam! Now you see that it's fit the screen. Now you can lock that in place. There, that, say if that was my starting soon screen, just just for example. You feel me? But from there, now we're gonna go to the internet. So when you go to the internet, I'm gonna have this link down in the uh, comment section below. So just go to that link, and all this is free and it works on Streamlabs and OBS. So, so check this out. So you're going to come to this link, Intermedia. You know, when you get to this website, you're going to come over here. See, I got free widgets right there. You got timers, all widgets, tools. We're just going to go to countdown. So you can have either one like you want, but, you know, you just want the, the minutes and the seconds. So that's all, that's all you need. You can even have a video background if you want it like that, you know, how you're streaming, whatever. Whatever you want to click on, go for it. But me, we're just going to go with the minutes and seconds for right now. And after you get here... You scroll down, you see, you can just pick any one that you want. doesn't really matter. Uh, these are categories over here, o overlays. But me, I'm just going to go with this one, countdown, no hours. I'm going to go with the first one real quick. So you'll see it pop up. It starts counting down. Three, two, one, yeah, whatever, three minutes. You come down here, you can change your colors and everything else. If you want to change this to, like, some other color or you want to change it to, like, a blue or something like that. See, so it changes blue. You can change this. You can change the digital. They got whole grip of them. You can, look, Fortnite font. Bam. Ooh, they look clean right there. So, you know, you can have it play a sound at the end if you wanted to. Check this out right here. You know, if you want to put an alarm and everything, but I don't really want to because that does get kind of annoying. Then you hit apply. And if you don't like that, you know, a little Fortnite font, if you don't like that, you can always come down here, click on how you want these down here. So look, there, now I changed the three minutes, and it will do this the whole time. So I me, mean, I'm going to just do white just so you guys can see it. Bam. So you know what I'm saying? And it will count down like that for three minutes for starting soon. That gives you enough time to prepare, get everything working up, get all set up here just before you start your stream. So after you do that, you hit apply. See this link? You want to copy the whole link, copy the whole link, go back to Streamlabs. Now, when you want to get to Streamlabs, now the way you're going to add it is click on Add Source, click on Browser Source. You feel me? It's coming from the web. Click on Add. You name it uh, to me, I already have one, but I'm going to hit Add New. Call it, you know, so you know what it is. We'll just say Timer, Add Source. See how it says URL? We don't want that. Clear out that. So you will paste it in there, and you do the way you paste it on Mac is Command V. Paste that whole thing. Everything else you're going to be. You can check this to refresh it every time the browser becomes active, so it refreshes itself. See, there you go, right there. You hit done. Now you can just resize it to how you like, or wherever you want. 
There's a countdown timer. Lock it in place. You know, this is just a demonstration. And, you know, once you get ready, or once it's finished, you go live, and you'll be good to go. So that's how you add a countdown timer to your stream in Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studios. They all work the same. And this is on the Mac 2021, and it's free. Woo! I like free. Where, where did I ain't got to pay for it? Real simple. So the link to that will be down in the description box below. Um, real simple, you guys. You know, we get a real starting screen. I'm gonna change. I'm probably gonna change mine. This is mine right here, as you can see. Countdown timer. If you've been to my streams, yes, this is what I have at first before I go live. And then you can add it to either scene. You can add it to your be right back screen. Go and go to the restroom. Add. Just do the same thing. Add one to there. You know, I'm be right back. You know, so people know how long you be gone. And then that don't be gone too long. You know, you can do it for your end scene. I don't have an ending scene. But yeah, so then every time you click that scene, it refreshes, bam, starts over all over again, which is pretty great, great and pretty awesome. So you want to add a countdown timer to your stream in Streamlabs OBS or OBS. That's the way you're going to do it. Link down in the description box. The comment section say, that really helped me. I really appreciate it. But other than that, um, new videos is on the way. Countdown timer. I'm liking that. I'm about to go change mine up a little bit. But uh, on our way to 1,500 subscribers, we made it to 1,400. That's pretty great. Now we're going on, on the way up. Woo! But that being said, this is your boy Brandon coming to you from Creighton TV. And I'm signing out of here. Peace. Can't get away for free.